Our family's been in the dairy business. I can trace it back to uh, 1880. I'm fourth generation dairy farmer. Our family's been farming this location since 1918. And I just married into it. <laughs> I had to learn how to milk a cow. You can drive around Tillamook within a 10 mile radius and see 75 to 100 farms. We've been members of Tillamook, of course, for generations. I was working on the farm ever since I could carry a bucket. Well, I'm still in the same place my dad was born on in 1920. Darien is what I've done, it's what I've loved all my life. Um, dreamed about doing it when I was 12 years old. He loves his cows. I tease him all the time and say, if you had to decide between the cows or me, you'd probably go with the cows. <laughs> How many can you name off the top of your head? Cupcake. Cupcake. Candy. Cotton candy. Candy corn. Candy corn. <laughs> We usually name them when we're hungry, can you tell? <laughs> we just really like our cows. The family life on, on, a, uh, on a dairy farm is outstanding. A great place to raise kids. It's about getting to the barn at midnight and finding a brand new baby calf in the straw. My dad's favorite saying is, oh, while you're resting, why don't you go do that? Or while you're resting, go do that. There was no such thing as rest. You've got uh, 175 three-year-olds at home that somebody has to take care of. Yeah, they have different personalities. Our daughter has a cow, her name is Shadow. She's a great big cow and you'll start curring her and she'll follow you all over the barn and if you don't curry her, she walks up behind you just like this. Yep. <laughs> One of the really great things about Tillamook is that we are owned by family farms. When it's farmer owned, you follow it all the way through the whole process, right to the store, right to the consumer right to the kitchen table. You know, this whole community is built around Tillamook cheese. We own the company, it's our product. We take a little more pride in it that way. The bar is set awful high here in Tillamook. We have to take care of the land so that we can take care of our cows, so that we can take care of the land, so we can take care of the cows. That in itself is a testament to sustainability. We pride ourselves on quality milk, number one, and healthy cows. Tillamook made a decision not to use artificial growth hormones. And I think it was a great decision. I mean, I think what's best for that cow? Healthy cows produce quality milk. All I know is my cows are spoiled. <laughs> Why mess with a good thing? That's one thing about Tillamook. The quality of milk is so much better than most other places. Tillamook producers are passionate about producing high quality milk, um, the best tasting cheese. You have to have good quality milk to make good cheese. Tillamook cheese is the kind of cheese that dairy farmers will go out and buy. All of my relatives come from Wisconsin and they leave with their suitcases full of cheese. So what does that tell you? Tillamook won world's best cheddar. And I'm thinking, you know what? I already knew this, but it's nice to see it in print. We did win the, the, the championship and because we do have the best cheese in the world, there's no doubt about that. For us to be producing cheese that can receive a world award is pretty special to us. Go out in the morning, open the gate and says, good job girls. Got good milk. <laughs> so, best cheese in the world. I think we deserve all the awards, personally. <laughs> it's the real deal. Yep.